that was a good football team we beat in a really good environment, and um, we knew we were going to get their best shot, and I think we did get their best shot. Um, and uh, for a while, it didn't look very good. We were struggling to slow them down on defense. They do a good job of shift trade and motions and, and getting us misaligned and, and uh, give them credit. I thought they did some good things, but we, we hung in there. We just hung in there on some stuff, uh, made some corrections in the third quarter finally. To, I think we get three or four stops in a row, a couple picks uh, that we had to have. And then uh, our, our offense, um, when they had to make plays, made big time plays. I mean, we had some big time drives. We had 10 plays. Uh, 87 yards in the th 10, the third quarter to get it close, and then six plays, 55 yards um, to take the lead. And uh, I knew they were going to have one more shot at coming back, and, and, our, and they did a nice drive. Um, we get the big pick, and then nothing better than, than finishing the game on offense and running the clock out with a couple big first downs. Could have talked about the fight of Will Howard today. Yeah, um, love the kid. He's a warrior. He, he battles, and... Um, uh, made plays and they did some different things as a lot of people do to us and, and he did it with his arm, did it with his legs. Uh, O-line was good. DJ Giddens, Treshawn were good. DJ, uh, Phillip was good. It was, it, was, it was a team, total team effort. Special teams today, Coach? Well, um, the two point, uh, the, the block PAT return, that really changed the game. Uh, even though they end up getting ahead, I, I get it, they get ahead, but they were chasing those points uh, all game. And then we go for two and get it, there's your four points right there. Um, so we, we convert our two point conversion and we block one. Nate Matlock did a phenomenal job uh, splitting the gap, uh, getting a big block. And then Keenan Garber, the local guy, takes a thing and uh, and scores. And, and that was, even though, you know, it, it, was pivotal because it came to be the final point differential. What about the fans? It was loud in here, and um, it was it was hard to hear. Partly because of the the music they play um, is is deafening. Um, so I mean, sometimes it drowns out the fans. It's so deafening. Um, but uh, K State fans showed up big time, and uh, how cool was that for us to get with Dr. Trace with our whole team and the band. Um, that band and Dr. Tracer is much a part of K-State football as anybody we have, and uh, can't thank him enough. He's he's one of my favorite people. Um, lifts me up sometimes when I'm down, and I was glad that uh, they could all experience it with us. Chris, what do you think you guys figured out on defense there late in the second? Um, some of it was alignments in the fact that they trade shift motion so much, and some of it was alignments and getting an extra hat to the option side of things. And then when they did try to throw the football, they had one really nice play um, out of an unbalanced set throwing the ball. But we changed some coverages up. I thought Joe did a good job changing a couple coverages up. They got us a couple interceptions. But uh, I don't think we tackled exceptionally well. Give them credit. They've got good running backs and, and, and uh, good players there. But I don't think we tackled especially well. But we never gave in. We, we always stayed in the fight. What's it mean for your seniors to leave here with? Man, it, it, it means the world to them. Um, you know, we've got 50-some Kansas kids on, on our roster and 19 in the two deep, and, and we're going to continue to do this the right way and, and recruit Kansas kids because Kansas kids can play Power 5 football. Um, we saw a bunch of that today, and it uh, means the world to those guys. And this, this is an important week. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, we never want to make it more important, and we don't Monday through Thursday. Friday and Saturday it starts to amp up. Can you go Palmer. into some? <clears throat> Talk about Bo Palmer a little bit. Another one of those Kansas kids. You said Absolutely. He's play a lot of days. Yeah. Um, when we lost Clifton, we had he and Romaine, and um, uh, Romaine did some things for a while. And then we had to go with Bo, just the experienced guy, probably. Um, but uh, I was excited for Bo. Bo's Bo's earned it. He he's earned that right. And and uh, man, it was it was fun to to see him going around making plays and and being a part of it. Uh, you know, whatever your role is, and Bo didn't know what his role was going to be. He still starts on four teams and then uh, played a really good second half on D. Can you go into some detail on that second down that Will Howard ran just preceding the pickup to Jace Brown? Why, you got to refresh me. Whip route to Jace Brown. Okay. Route to Jace Brown. okay. For yeah, so. Um, I can't remember. We we had a, we got backed up and and we did run well to try to get it to third and manageable. And then we've been running some crossing routes and 
Um, we decided to fake the crossing route and have Jace whip back out and, and call a return route, and, and Will hit him in stride, and, and that was a big time play. We were going to go for it on fourth down if we didn't get there. We we had to we had to try to keep the ball away from them, but uh, yeah, that's Will. Will Will was on point tonight again. Anything about this game surprised you? Anything that really surprised you about that? Not one thing. I, I knew they were a good team. Um, I knew we were a good team. I thought this would be a four-quarter game. Um, they've got a lot of guys with a ton of pride over there. Um, so much respect for, for Lance and what he's done. He's done a phenomenal job there. Um, and so, no, nothing surprised me. I don't have the stats for right now, but DJ had another big, big game. DJ ran with purpose, ran hard, ran through people, ran over people. Um, Sometimes it's not blocked up for anything. He got three or four. I thought Treshawn, at a critical time, popped a 50-yarder. That was, I think we were down 27-16 at the time and got stuffed on second down. The crowd was cranked up, and we rushed, get it for 50 yards, go in and score, make it 27-24 with going for two, and all of a sudden, um, I think the momentum flipped to us. How concerned were you at halftime? I think they had the ball for 20 minutes. Um, I was concerned because we couldn't get off the field, absolutely, but I wasn't concerned because it was you couldn't have found a better night for football. I mean, no wind and 50 degrees, but uh, uh, we just we couldn't get off the, we couldn't get off the field. That credit to them, credit to their offense and their coaches. They did a phenomenal job of game planning us. You mentioned the resolve right at the start. What was the mood on the sideline when you guys fall behind 11 and start fighting back? Uh, we talked about that in the locker room. Nobody flinches. You know, we, we were down at Texas. Nobody flinched. We were really down at Oklahoma State. Nobody flinched. And we, we felt like we'd get a chance to get this thing into the fourth quarter. And that's all we're always asking for and ever wanting is, man, keep fighting. Keep the fight up. And this is, that's the culture. You know, everybody talks about what is culture. You see that right there. That's, that's culture on display. When kids are like, man, we're, we're, just, we're good. We're fine. We're just, somebody's going to make a play, and we're going to flip this momentum. And... Um, you know, we don't take it lightly. Our kids don't take our culture lightly. And, um, you know, when you have as many guys as we have that have been here four, five, and six years, man, those guys are going to fight to the bitter end. You touched on it a little bit, but what do you think the biggest point, the biggest point of a turn was? You mentioned the block PAT and a couple other plays. There was a, ever a moment where Just that? getting stops for us finally on defense, uh, making them punt the football, and, and, uh, uh, and then our offense just, they, they were, our offense was going to be tough to stop in that fourth quarter. We were wearing them. Uh, our, our old line's really good. You guys took advantage of some chance, too. I think they had an, almost had a pick six, and then you go and drive 83 right. yards, and you had a fourth down. They stopped you, and yeah. the penalty, and you took advantage of that. How big was that? It, it was big. You know, and, I mean, hey, I've, I've been on the other side of it. When we've dropped a pick six, inevitably you're going to score. You know, They had a fumble that we should have picked up, and we didn't pick it up. They gave us one. And we didn't pick it up, and they ended up being a 20-yard gain, which we, we can't have. I mean, they, we get them to put it on the ground. we got to get it ourselves. But you make your own breaks, you know, and I've been in this game long enough, and I, I've seen it happen where you, you don't make a pick, and it goes and scores. You, you tip a ball, and you should pick it. You know, I, it's called the game of football. How hard is it to get and keep the ball when you have five minutes and 30 seconds left, and they know you're going to run the football? You don't get it back to them. How hard is it? It's hard, but it's a will. It's a it's it's a desire. It's a mentality. It's a culture. It's a hey guys, we're gonna get this. And DJ, let's roll. And you know we we have a chart that Will is knows how many seconds he's got to take off before he takes a knee. Once we had it to under two fifteen, I knew it was over. Coach, was this any way a, a tiny example of your whole season as far as battling through adversity and at times where it looked like you guys were down in the grim and come back? And you know, um, potentially it is. Um, we got great kids in that locker room. Um, you know, you know, expectations are high always. It's hard. To, you guys that follow this league and do this league for a living, it's hard to win games in this league. And we found that out last week with some things. And is I don't know, what are we eight and three and and I don't know, five wins in the league, six wins six in the league. Six and it's a dang good league. And, and our kids come to play every week. That's one thing I'm so proud of is no matter what happened the week before, you're judged on what's going to happen this week. And you never fall in love with yourself because you played really well or you played so poorly. Everything's a one-week season, and our guys lock into that. And that's a credit to those players. Anything else for Coach?